Now we've been throwing a crazy party as you can see we got pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Gloved Up program. Today, history has been made. Deji has defeated Floyd Mayweather. I wish I could be telling you that, but unfortunately, that is not what happened. Well, not unfortunately, everyone kind of knew that was going to happen. Apparently, Deji gave Floyd a black eye, which is something, I guess. Floyd Mayweather took on Deji. It went about as anybody could have expected it to be. Floyd Mayweather dancing around the ring, toying with Deji like he's a Fortnite emote. $4.99 in the item shop. Of course, you had Tommy Fury versus, I have no idea who he was fighting. I swear to God, he was fighting that guy named Paul Bamba, but when I watched the fight, I could have sworn that guy wasn't Paul Bamba. So let me know in the comments, but you should relabel that fight. Melatonin, 50 milligrams. That shit was so terrible. I am confident when I say that Jake Paul would destroy Tommy Fury, whether it was in the back alley of a UK pub or in Madison Square Garden. What really happens from here? Nothing really has happened in the YouTube boxing space from this fight. Tommy Fury sucks. We all knew that he kind of sucked. He wasn't the best. He was no Tyson Fury. Then of course, Deji lost to Floyd. Wow, what do you fucking do? It's almost like that was bound to happen. What? did this do for the YouTube boxing community? Nothing. If anything, it gave more damage to it. Tristan Tate and Andrew Tate, they were playing snakes and saying that YouTube boxing is dead after this. If that was my first boxing event, I would have been out the door. I would have went right back to MMA, mixed martial arts, because it's already better than regular boxing. Deji did get off some hits on Floyd Mayweather, and that's cool, I guess, but if I'm being real with you, this event didn't really need to happen. It wasn't the best or well-produced, and next week we're gonna have a killer event with Misfits. And apparently Kevin Holland is coming out and dissing my boy Minicom. We gotta get him back on the fucking show. Kevin, just back here, uh, yeah. your buddy uh, Minicom is fighting next weekend. Do you think he's gonna get the W? Uh, who told you that was my buddy? He told me. Oh, don't listen to him. <laughs> Training at the same gym doesn't mean you're buddies. And, uh, and Stitch Duran needs to learn what the meaning of the word friend is. Stitch Duran and I were never friends. We were work associates. Training at the same gym doesn't mean you're buddies. Stitch Duran was never my friend. Who told you that was my buddy? I'm a glow man, I don't need a garment. I don't need a garment, and I'm hot a Gloved up, the number one YouTube boxing exclusive show. Sorry I didn't make an episode for this before it came out. I genuinely just wasn't interested in this fight. And shout out to Fox the G, because I watched the fights afterwards, and I watched his watch party throughout the entirety of the way. So, have a good one, guys. It's been Gloved Up, the number one YouTube boxing exclusive show. We'll see if we can keep this running. I'll see you guys later. I, I don't know what it is, but shawty too pressure. Asking me if I'm here, yeah, you a good guesser. Always doing it big. I mean, dude's a really, really cool guy, but I think he should just stick to YouTube and not fighting, so.